Okay guys, welcome back to the video. In the previous one, I've shown you how to go about creating the simple fake ocean. Now in this video, I'll show you how you can leverage the node network to get in more details and exactly how to work with node editor too. So let's go ahead, I'll open up the node editor and let's bring, open up a couple of nodes which we have here. So because I don't really know which ones they are, I'll just select them there and load them in my node editor. Now, uh, something which I want to do here is first off, uh, as you remember in the layer texture which we have, all of the displacement is coming in from here, but all the values stop exactly where the ramp touches zero. So therefore there is no detail in the ocean. But as you know, Anytime you have an ocean, the ocean is made of water and water is transparent. You are supposed to be able to see at least something which is below the water. So let's go ahead and try to get in such details. So to get that, first thing I'm going to do is go into this ramp which we have and uh, let's go ahead and bring back a couple of the details which exist in the ocean, uh, the section near the ocean. So here I'm just pulling out the ramp, the black value so that the uh, landscape touches a little bit of the corners here. So let me just pull that out a little bit more. Okay, so I have a, a little bit of things happening here. So I have a bit of uh, the landscape going towards the edges, but for obvious reasons, we have already planned out that the island is going to be in the center. It's not going to extend towards the edges. For this, we can redo exactly what we did previously. So. Here we remap the value to get in color information for the material itself. We can do the same thing for the displacement shader. Now the RGB to HSV value is giving the, uh, which is telling the computer to go ahead and displace the object. We can use a remap value to go ahead and change this here too. So let's go do that. I'll just bring in a remap value. Now with this remap value, I'm going to just go ahead and tell the output value, the output HSV value is going into the input value here and the output value is going into the displacement. There is a bit of change here than what we did previously. Uh, let's load out the previous one to see exactly what that is. Here previously what I did is taken the output value from luminance and connected that to input value but I was making use of the color information from the remap value to get the color but this time I just need displacement and displacement is a single scalar value. So for that reason I'm not using the color, I'm just making use of the value attribute. And because I'm making use of the value, only changes I make up here in the value section have any effect. I can't do any changes here in the color section. So a simple quick note, many people get confused there. So just want to make a quick note of that. Now. This remap value which I have is affecting the displacement. So now I can come here to this value section, change this and you should be able to see the entire value changes here in the viewport too. Now, as you can see, everything has gone flat uh, but the colors still exist here at the corners, mainly because the displacement value and the color value have different remappings applied to them this time. Right? So displacement, uh, sorry, the material itself has a complete different remap which is making use of the color and displacement is making use of this value here. Now, what I can do is go ahead, try and change these values to get a better looking result. So let me bring it to a certain level here and set it to smooth. So it has a smoother transition. Okay, that looks good. I'll also take it in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I have my landscape back here but there are a couple of changes. There are a couple of values here which my color node can make use of whereas my displacement node does not know about them. Now there is where all the power lies. So let's come back to the material remap value where I'm actually coloring all the ocean. So let's go ahead start changing this. I'll bring this node out. This is the one which is affecting the color of the mountain so I'm bringing that out and this is the sand. So sand stays on there. So this is actual ocean color. Let me bring that out a little bit. Then I'm going to add a new ocean color. I'll just set it to a bit more bluish tint and saturate it a bit more. Makes it look like there is some detail behind there. 
So as you can see, now if I zoom into any particular section, you can see it looks like there is some mountain region, there is some sandy beach and then the ocean starts. But there is no sudden transition between the ocean and the landscape itself. So let me add that in. I'll just create a simple separation here. Bring two colors very close to each other and that immediately creates a separation in the ocean as you can see here. Okay, so as you can see I went about just with a few changes was able to get in more details in the ocean and as you can see those details match up with the actual landscape itself it looks like there is some details even beneath the ocean you can obviously go ahead try to edit it a little bit more and try to get more details which look like as if things belong to each other which they don't really look like they do right now so I'll just make a couple of quick changes here okay so that is done there so as you can see very quick edits to get in some extra details of the ocean and some additional details within the ocean themselves. Now obviously there are a couple of things like this which might happen as you can see the ocean has come up this is mainly because of the soft mod um, which we did to hide the markers so as you can see even the markers have come out a bit. Now this is where the procedural nature of our network comes into play and come back to the ramp which we have here previously which we have selected now I can go ahead start changing in a few values to hide this ocean basically so let's go ahead try to change in a couple of values here just try go ahead tweak these things till you get something which you're comfortable with so I'll go ahead try and tweak and get some results and I'll see you in the next one in which we'll go ahead with further details so I'll see you in the next video